so 60 and 40 uh we were taught in childhood to do something like this 60 40 100 and then divide this by two first and you get 30 20 50 no my friend you don't have so much time on your standardized examination you have to be smart so i will tell you two ways one which will work for everybody one which may work for only those who are really good with numbers i would say first of all um, break it up as much as you can just break it into prime basis so you know 60 would have 2 3 and 5 40 would have 2 and 5 nothing else uh, 100 would also have only 2s and 5s this would have 1 3 2 2s 1 5s 3 2s 1 5 2 twos, 2 fives. so this is what the breakup means for finding out the highest common factor you just have to see what is the power that is common everywhere so the highest power of 2 that is common everywhere is is 2 so hcf would have 2 raised to power 2 highest power of 3 that is common everywhere no there's no 3 here so there would be no 3 involved here highest power of 5 common everywhere is 1 so hcf is going to be 4 into 5 20 coming to lcm lcm i just need to select the highest powers for each prime base so highest power of 2 here is 3 highest power of 3 here is 1 highest power of 5 here is 2 so 8 into 9 8 into uh, 3 24 24 into 25 is 600 the LCM is 600 for this expression the HCF is 20 another way I would suggest which may not work for everybody is this one see use it if, if it only applies intuitively to you take the highest number 100 and look at the next number and see what new does it bring what does 40 have that 100 doesn't 40 has three twos in it 100 has only one two so to include 40 also I need to multiply 100 by 2 it becomes 200 and then what does 60 bring that is not already there in 200 60 brings an additional 3 200 does not have a 3 as a factor in it so 200 needs to be multiplied by 3 the LCM is 600 so that is the fast way of calculating LCM personally I always do it like this so this similarly here I would look at 500 I would say what new does 16 bring in 500 has only uh, two fives in it I'm sorry two, uh, two twos in it while 16 has four twos in it and therefore I need to multiply this by two square four to include this 500 into four would make it uh, 2000 so now 120 what new does it have that 2000 doesn't it has a 3 in it so now the lcm is going to be 2000 into 3 6000 coming to highest common factor i would just very intuitively see that c16 in this case start with the smallest number 16 has only twos in it it has four twos this has two twos this has three twos so the hcf is going to be the smallest number of twos which is two twos the hcf is four here lcm 6000 highest common factor or or greatest common divisor four